Oh, from the lush tropical beaches of Sarasota, Florida, to the urban jungle of Mexico City, author Danny Lopez's novel The Last Girl draws you in from the very first page. Dexter Varga is an out-of-work newspaper reporter who's hired to find a missing girl and soon finds himself in the middle of a much bigger web of intrigue. Danny Lopez, thank you for being with us on Thanks, Morning sir. Blend. What, now, you, you were telling me uh, before we started here, you grew up in Mexico City. Yes, I did. So you're very familiar with that area. I was going to ask if you had traveled down there to do research, but you did your research, I, I guess, from the time you were young to... Yeah, and I had to do some research because uh, there is the woman that he's looking for is supposed to be investigating in a certain area of Mexico right. where there's a, um, a reptile uh, that's basically extinct or almost extinct. Okay. Um, and I didn't know anything about that. And, uh, of course, uh, we mentioned Sarasota. You currently live in Sarasota. Right. Um, so uh, what, uh, how, do, how do you weave this whole story together? It's got to be cool, uh, and it's also, also, obviously this is fiction, but when you use real places, uh, that gives fiction a real air of authenticity, doesn't it? I think it does, and I love Sarasota, and I love Mexico City, so I feel like I want to take the reader to these places, and to not use some real places would be... Uh, disingenuous in sure. a way. So I hope that people can see that. I'm guessing you wrote most of this, if not all of it, in Sarasota. Or did you do some writing in Mexico City? Did you go back to kind of refresh uh, your memory? Uh, no, I went. It's all Sarasota. It is yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. Sarasota. What's your what's your what approach do you take when you write? I mean, do you have to be in the same place? Can you write? I don't know. Can you go into a coffee shop and start writing? What's your particular process like? I used to write obsessively anywhere at any time, whenever I could. Now I pretty much just uh, try to block out some time in the morning and try to make it a force of habit. Um, that's the only way to get something done is to wake up in the morning, write for two or three hours before the rest of the day takes over. Do you have a certain number of pages you like to write per day or do you just write until whichever passage you are working on you, you feel is finished? Oof. Um, I write as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I want to I move forward with the story. If it's really flowing, I, I'll just keep going until I have other things that I need to do, but um, it just, it's, it's something that's very intuitive. Sometimes it's really hard, um, and I want to get through that block, because otherwise it ruins the rest of the day. It puts me in a bad mood sure. if I, I don't feel like I'm making some kind of progress. You can't wait to go to sleep, wake up, and, yeah, and give it another shot, right? Exactly. Do you write a book chronologically? Um, it's easier that way. It's, mm -hmm. uh, um, and, you know, I start at the beginning, work towards the end, and usually, especially with a mystery, it, it works in a way chronologically. I mean, you could write it differently if you want to structure it that way, but I usually, um, I really don't know where the story's going to go. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that happens is I, I have to move one step at a time and let my characters tell me what's going to happen next. It's very common now for uh, books that sell well to become films. Is that ever in the back of your mind? When you're writing, oh sure, sure. You, you think about boy, now if this were a movie, we'd want to put this here, and it's like going to Vegas and saying I'm going to hit the big time. You know, <laughs> it's the same, the same sort of feeling. You don't go there thinking I'm just going to waste some money. When was the first time you wrote anything? And maybe it was a teacher, maybe it was a friend, uh, where they looked at looked at it and went, you know, you could make a living doing this. Or was that something you realized on your own because you were a working uh, photojournalist for a while? Uh, I was a photojournalist and. Um, I was very dense when I was young, and I didn't listen to my teachers who said, get into drama, get into writing, and for some reason, I did not. I still have some of the uh, term papers from community college and from 10th grade where they're uh, tell me, give me advice, tell me you should mm -hmm. keep writing, and I don't know why I didn't take that at the beginning. Um, <laughs> you know, I think that there's something maybe that I understood was the experiences of being a photojournalist would help my writing. And as a young man, I didn't have any experiences that I could write about, or so I felt. Yeah. So that might have been a part of the game. Yeah. So you've got some, some waters under the bridge, and now it's, it's, all, it's all coming back. Right, right. It's easier to take all the memories now that I'm older. Danny, thank you for being here. Hey, book party tonight in Sarasota. Yeah, uh, 530 to 7 at Bookstore One downtown. And uh, there'll be great wine from New Zealand, uh, little tidbits to eat, and uh, it's going to be great. The book is called The Last Girl. Danny Lopez, thank you very much for being with us today on Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. Thanks for having me. Just found.